Hello, I want to welcome you to the member orientation for Women Veterans Alliance members. Um, I'm Melissa Washington, and this has, um, I usually try to record this at least once a year, so that way we, it is fresh and updated with all kinds of new things that have been happening in, in the last year. So this one that you're watching is recorded um, here in August of 2022. And I am Melissa Washington. I am a Navy veteran and I am the CEO and the founder of Women Veterans Alliance. I'm gonna share a little bit more about um, me just so everyone knows who I am. And also too, you can go on our website and go on the um, About Us. And I have my um, my bio, which shares a lot more information, um, but we only have a little bit limited amount of time um, here. So um, I've been married to a retired Marine for 28 years now. He did 21 years and uh, we are mom to Maya. So if you are, I'm in the Sacramento area. So if you are come to any of our events, a lot of times um, my husband and my daughter uh, will be at those events and Maya will be a, a senior um, this year. So I joined the Navy in uh, 1991. I'm also from the San Francisco um, Bay area. And my first duty station was the USS Grapple out of Little Creek, Virginia. And I did a six month Mediterranean cruise. And then I was stationed aboard the USS Acadia, uh, which is a destroyer tender out of uh, San Diego and did a six month uh, Westpac there. And so with that, both of those ships are no longer in commission. And so when I was in, women were not yet allowed on um, combatant ships, submarines, aircraft carriers. Um, so there are only certain ships and those two ships that I were on, of course, we were allowed on. So in 1994, I um, got off of active duty and I got out a little bit early. And the reason I did is at that time, uh, President Clinton was downsizing the military and I raised my hand and said, I would like to get out as because I had met this Marine who was going to spend his career in the Marine Corps and I didn't want to um, have both of us being on um, constant deployment. So uh, my transition story is I walked off the ship active duty 30 days later, we got married and 30 days later he deployed. So that was the beginning of our marriage and my transition out of the Navy. But when I got out uh, 20 years ago, I didn't consider myself a veteran. Um, my dad, he's he's a veteran. He served in Vietnam. He's a combat veteran. And um, as you see this picture that was taken a few years ago, my dad is like the poster child for the the uh, the old white guy with the you know the Vietnam vet hat. I mean, he wears like the hat everywhere. He has different ones and different shirts. Um, so he is very proud of his his service. Um, there. So, but again, that's who I thought when I think of a veteran, and I'm sure a lot of people still do. They think, oh, okay, it's this old guy in a ball cap. Well, and there are, but there's also people that look like me and all of you that are, are watching here. So after I got out of the military, of course, I also used my GI Bill for school. I worked in corporate America. I'm human resource and recruiting for 12 years. I was laid off in 2009. And then I went on a journey of career reinvention, which uh, led me to start my own um, business. I worked at LinkedIn for four years doing global corporate meeting planning. In 2014, I published a book, um, Get Back to Work. Um, and also during this time, I was doing um, different speaking engagements. But one of the things that I wanted um, was to connect with other women veterans in more of a professional networking setting. I wasn't interested in the traditional legacy veteran organizations. I was just looking for opportunity just to connect and to network. So with that, in January of 2015 at El Torito's in um, Sacramento, California, I got these ladies together here. And this was where Women Veterans Alliance started. The intent was for us to meet the third Thursday of every month. And we would find... Um, different restaurants, we would find speakers. Uh, this was a hobby for me. And it was, again, just this this once a month group. But let me tell you, this, this group, um, most of these women didn't know each other. Um, I knew some. And we could have closed that restaurant down that night. Um, it's, it's amazing when you have women that could finally come together, whether they were officer enlisted, whichever branch, and to be able to have that connectivity. And that's where uh, we were born. So now we went from this restaurant to our 
reach, which as you can see is uh, national reach. Um, so we connect with women throughout the US. Um, yes, I am based in California, but we reach women actually even more so on a global basis as we also reach women that are on active duty that may be stationed um, in Germany or Asia or um, the Middle East or wherever she might be. Um, also, so you can really see as far as our um, our reach, this course also needs to be updated soon um, with that, but we continue our reach um, throughout the United States. Um, also, too, if you look at as far as our social media and our member statistics, um, as far as the age, the education, the income, um, our social media presence, we have a very good social media presence as well as internet presence. If you were to Google Women Veterans, I guarantee you Women Veterans Alliance will appear on the first page um, here. And also, too, if you see like um, the age statistics, and of course, you know, it's going to shift um, too, but right now it's, you know, if you look at the average age of a woman veteran, um, the last number I saw is about like 48 is the average age of a woman veteran. So that's where we are as far as um, our numbers, membership, connections, our, our ways we reach out to um, those on social media. Um, but also, too, I just wanted to share what I've been up to since um, the beginning of this year. And it's actually been a quite busy year um, with that as I do travel a lot, um, which provides me the opportunity to network and, and connect with other women throughout the U.S. Um, March was a busy month. Um, of course, it's Women's History Month. Um, the bottom right was um, a event at CalVet. Um, to the left is Virginia Wimmer, who's the Deputy Secretary for Women Veterans Affairs for CalVet. And to the right are some good friends of mine, James Amara Morrison. And we collaborated on a project called What Does a Woman Veteran Look Like? And then James is a photographer and um, photographed women um, and the portraits, which also ended up becoming um, two books that we have. Um, the top left um, is active duty woman station at Beale Air Force Base in California, which I live not that far from. They asked me to be their keynote speaker on their Fem Tour um, event, which I was very happy to do and, and connect with um, active duty women, which is uh, a, also another focus of mine is connecting with women before they even get out of the military. And the bottom, I flew out to Washington, D.C. I was invited um, with these other women veteran leaders for breakfast with the um, secretary of the VA. And you could see Madonna there on the the, um, the left-hand side, and these are all women veteran leaders. And then from there um, to the right, this is still also in March. March was a busy month. And um, to the right is the Women Veterans Event Nevada event was held in Reno. And um, standing with me is Laura Sagalo, who is the Center for Women Veterans um, Director. She came out and was one of the keynote speakers. Um, the bottom left is the Women Veterans Are California magazine, which I'll talk a little bit about later. That was our um, some of the attendees at our launch party that we had. And then the top left, I'm on um, Purdue's Military Family Council, Family Research Council, and we flew out to Purdue um, University for that event. Then also too was in uh, Washington, DC, um, just a couple months ago. Um, to the left was at the Women's Memorial. Um, to the right was the Library of Congress event, uh, where I was one of the 100 who received a a beautiful, beautiful quilt um, that was made. And then in the middle, um, these are women veterans. So what I've done the last seven years, when I travel to different locations, even if it's not women veteran related, um, I usually try to get women veterans together for a meetup. And that's what I did this middle picture. Um, we're here at the um, lobby of the Marriott where I was staying. I sent out an email and I asked um, women if you're interested in coming and connecting and so that's what happened um, that evening. It was a fantastic evening connecting uh, with women that were in the Washington DC area. And this is um, another event that happened in Sacramento. I was one of the, um, I was honored, one of the uh, Navy women veterans that were honored at the Sacramento host breakfast. And that is um, Congresswoman uh, Doris Matsui, who's an extreme um, advocate uh, for our, our veterans. And in July, did a little traveling, went out to Norfolk, Virginia for the Joint Women's Leadership Symposium where we had a um, exhibitor table. I was also on a couple of the different panels um, there. So, get, you know, sharing our, we, I bring out some of our stores. So I was able to sell some, you know, of our products, talk to a lot of women that are still on active duty. And then to the right, another fantastic meetup of uh, women veterans and active duty, same thing, got the word out. 
and um, were able to connect with a bunch of um, women at this event. And just a couple weeks ago, I was in uh, San Antonio, Texas for a couple different conferences, the NCOA as well as the NABMW. Um, conference was able to connect with women um, also too with the women veterans of San Antonio and the pink berets so it's able to do a lot of connecting and you know it, and, and just getting the word out um, to other women that are in these communities so that's only half of the year and then I've got some other scheduled um, travel so I one of the main reasons I wanted to share that is yes I'm physically in California but our reach is everywhere especially with the internet uh, we can definitely reach a lot more women and then having the opportunity to be able to travel to these locations. So what I wanted to share with all of you too is the Women Veterans Alliance, our website, if you haven't been there, which I'm sure you have, um, just the layout and just go over some different sections and all that we offer as an organization and to anybody that comes to our website um, here. Uh, also too, if you go to the About Us section, uh, you can find um, our mission and our vision here. Also, too, if you click on Meet the Founder, that has my bio. Um, download our media kit that has all of our information as far as our numbers and stats that I showed earlier. And then the um, WVA in the media um, shares all the different um, podcasts or TV shows or radio shows or other events that we are involved in. And that is um, the WVA in the media. And that is can be found under the About Us section. Um, so if you go onto our website, if, if you go hover over events, you'll see the drop down here. We have a calendar of events. I um, mean, what's really cool about this uh, app that we have, this plugin here, is you can find events using keyword. Um, you can also search it by um, month. You can search it by week, by location, and find different events. We also have the events categorized. So as you look at the events, so here's the first week. Um, if there are, if there is a picture of the event, that is either more so it's our event or we're partnering on an event. And um, so anybody can submit their events um, here as long as it's applicable, of course, to uh, what we have. So if you do have events, um, please definitely email those over to us. Uh, we will get those on our online calendar and we all also share on social media. And this calendar does get visited a lot, as well as our website does get a lot of traffic um, as well. And um, so also too, on that drop dropdown, um, you can see the different webinars that we have. Uh, we do have a couple of course coming up here in August. So depending upon when you see this, definitely go to our uh, webinars as um, next year, 2023, we'll start again our Wednesday webinar series um, there. So we've got webinars, but don't worry if you've missed any of our webinars, you can go onto our YouTube channel as we do record our um, webinars for those to watch at a later date. Uh, also to some of our other events that are upcoming, uh, we have our Women Veterans Engage event that's taking place September 9th and 10th. This event is taking place um, at many locations throughout the US. If you were not in one of those locations, you can join us online at womenveteransengage.com. And these are our four phenomenal speakers that we will have um, on September 10th. Um, and they will be broadcasting from different locations, but everybody in all the locations and online will be able to watch um, these presenters. We're just looking at other ways that we can connect um, and engage women throughout the country. If you haven't heard about our, um, our unconference, this is our signature event. It's September 8th through the 10th, 2023 at Tropicana Resort. And with this event, um, we will have it there. And I'm just gonna play a quick video for all of you to watch. And this is also on our YouTube channel. So if you miss something here, you can come back and watch it. Women Veterans Alliance and Conference. And one of the things we could not do this without is our fantastic sponsors. And you'll see them right here. We 
We have Waste Management, DAV, USC, and if you're not familiar with USC, they have a master's business veterans program called the MBV, and also Georgia Pacific is here to talk about their different opportunities and their veterans initiatives, not only for Georgia Pacific, but also for um, Coke Industries as well. We have fantastic exhibitors that are here, and, and uh, someone said you have a really eclectic group of vendors and exhibitors, and why, why is that? It's because one of them is we, we're we bringing all the different resources Resources for our women veterans here in one place. And that's what we want to do. We want to bring those resources here for you so you can get that information, you know, take it back home to your, your community. We want to equip you with those resources, empower you, and encourage you to use those resources. And what I love about our breakout sessions, it's, again, not that typical breakout session. And we have a variety for everyone. Uh, this year, we had the Veterans in Media and Entertainment. We had five women veterans that are in front of the camera and behind the camera. And they were um, interviewed by Cheryl Schaefer, and they were able to tell their story. Um, they were here last year. They're going to be back next year. And women love to hear that. And it, and it also, too, it opens a door for them, um, for women attending to look at, you know, maybe there is opportunity for them that, that they never knew was there or they never knew that they thought they could do. Um, also, too, we've had um, Gail Sofer. She's fantastic. Mindful Warrior Project. She is here. This woman is here. So she is exhibiting. She had a fantastic breakout session, you know, really talking about the, the whole mindfulness piece. And she brings a whole team of practitioners here um, for her whole wellness area. And in addition to that, we have a new clothing boutique, and that was, that's what makes us very unique. They're not used or um, gently used clothing. They're brand new clothing um, that Danielle Marshall um, partners with organizations that donate these beautiful, expensive clothing. And in addition to the women receiving the clothing, they also get a stylist, who is Danielle, that will help them find the right clothing for their body type. My name is Danielle Marshall. I'm an Air Force veteran. I served two enlistments in the Air Force until I was injured in the line of duty and had to find a new path for myself. For the last four years, I've assisted with sponsoring the Style Boutique, where women veterans get to come in and go shopping and get dressed for their body type. And it's actually free of charge thanks to our amazing sponsors and vendors, the Worth Company in New York, Kiana Clothing here in Anaheim, and also Swaros Touchstone by Swarovski helped us to style over. 65 women in full outfits today. Melanie Hall was here. She's a uh, former army officer. There's 23 million veterans. Of those veterans, 3 million are women. It is vital that we support each other. And I want no woman veteran to feel that she is on her own. And then I want her to share the gift of tenacity and all that, that we can accomplish together as badass women. So with Women Veterans Alliance, we do the unconference in three days a year, but 365 days a year, we are empowering women veterans across the U.S. And actually, not even only across the U.S., but across the globe, as we are working to connect with women veterans that are still on active duty. So we can help get them connected to careers, get them connected to resources and other women. So with this three-day unconference, we're able to bring all these women into one place so they can connect and have that sisterhood, and that community, and that camaraderie. And with our unconference coming up in 2019 in Monterey, we are looking for, you know, always additional partnerships as well as women to come. So I hope that we'll see you there next year. So if you're not excited, you should definitely be excited now to come to our um, unconference. Also, too, uh, we have... Um, on Smug Mug, if you go on Smug Mug and Google Smug Mug Women Veterans Alliance, we have all of our um, photos from all of our past events are on there. Um, so I can just share with you as far as what we're doing uh, in our community and uh, in other events that we have. And back to our website. So on we have a on the directories tab, there is an allies directory. And what that is are these are uh, organizations that predominantly focus on women veterans or active duty women. Um, and we have a directory of all of those organizations. So we reach out and ask them to add their information. Uh, we do vet this at least once a year to make sure everything is updated, but it's a great opportunity for those that are looking for possibly an organization that's in their area and you can search um, utilizing the search tool um, that is on here as well. And also too, we just added this this year. 
um, on our directories is the National Directory of Women Veterans Memorials, Monuments and Parks. Um, believe it or not, there are um, monuments, of course, we know the Women's Memorial in, in DC, but there are others throughout the um, US where there is a focus on um, women veterans. And hopefully um, one day we'll have something at least in every state, um, but you can come to this page and check out the different um, monuments and parks and memorials that are in different states throughout the US. In addition to on, also on our directory, we have um, fantastic resources. We gather information, whether it's white papers, surveys, different uh, other organizations that support um, veterans, and um, that can be found on our resources directory. And you can just, again, utilize keywords to find that information. Uh, also too, under our, our resources tab, uh, we have an entrepreneurship page. So if you are looking to start or expand a business, um, you can fill in your information here. It'll come to me. Uh, we'll have a 30 minute call and then I'll get you um, connected to um, whomever you need to do to make that next step uh, with your business. Also too, we have a career center with different um, opportunities for helping with resume, different employers. Uh, we also have education resources. And um, the transition tab is for those that are, that are gonna be transitioning. Also too, we have a fantastic blog and also to a, um, a radio show, which I recently launched, um, a woman, in vet woman Veterans and Business Radio Show on uh, Woman Lead Radio. And you can listen to the um, previous episodes and learn more about the upcoming episodes that we have on our radio show. Uh, we have a online store. So if you are interested in finding some uh, items that are a little more specific to um, women, you can find those here, everything from clothing to jewelry, to stickers, to um, books, to scarves. Uh, we have that here on our um, website. Also too, what makes this unique is under the books tab, these are all books that are written by women veterans. So if you are a woman veteran author, you can uh, reach out and get your book into our store. Um, so again, just another opportunity and another sales funnel um, for our, our women veteran authors, but definitely check out the store. and. The main reason I wanted to start the store is, as we all know, it's always hard to find items that are specific for women and women veterans, because also, too, if you go to the exchange, it's usually the military wife and nothing for um, the woman that has served in the military. So and we've got that here on our website. Um, and you all are members. And if you don't know, we do have three paid levels and we also have a free level um, that we have here too. So if you are interested in, you know, going to the next level, this is the information from the, so we have our core level, then the business level is in the middle, and then our lifetime um, level is on the, the right-hand side um, there. And if you didn't know, if you're not a woman veteran, you can still become a member of our organization. So instead of a you know a partnership sponsorship, whichever you want to call it, we call these our patriotic members. These are non-women veterans, um, whether they're individuals, businesses that want to partner with us, and there is opportunity um, for that. And we do have some really great partners that we have um, that are patriotic members, and that can be found on our website. So with the uh, with being a member, you have access to log in to see additional information, which includes your profile, which I'm going to show you. And this is where you'd find it. So you just click on the member login on our website. Um, from here, you can also click on um, the the little person here, and that's going to take you to your member profile, which also has your. Well, you can list the um, different events that we have, and here you would log in. And if you forgot your password, you easily just click on forgot password and it'll, it'll email it over to you. And if I so here you can view your profile if you need to change your password. And so what does the view profile look like? So here is my profile um, that I have on here. And this is all the information that you filled out when you became a member and all the information. Uh, you can also too find your membership card. Uh, we do not mail out physical cards. You can um, get that on the... Um, your profile, whether it's on the computer or on your phone, I'm going to show you our app because a lot of people don't even know we have an app um, there. And here's just you know more information from your my profile. And then if you go to the um, the members only area, uh, you can find all this information. This is only for our paid members that have access to that. Um, this is where you can get um, 
review your benefits. You can download your the different badges that we have. We have badges for our different members. Um, you can learn more about um, your account. Uh, we have a new member spotlight. So anyone that's just become a member, their information is posted here. And also too, from here, you can view the member directory. And these are again, all of our paid members, you can view the directory. And if you didn't know, now you know that we have an app. So what you would need to do is go um, and look for Wild Apricot for members. And from there, just download that. You'll be able to use the same user ID and password that you do on your computer. And you can log on and you can pretty much see most of the information that you can on your computer on your app. And then from there, as you can see, here's my profile. If I clicked on my card, it'll show the membership card on there. Um, also from here, you can search events. Um, it has I just screenshotted this this morning. So it has this event today. Um, also too, you can register for events on your app as well. And just view all the, the different events that we have coming up. And you also too, to the right of here, you can look at your tickets. And here again, you can search all the, um, the members. So you can search using the search bar here. It would just click on their name and then you'll be able to see their information of the members. Also too, we are on all the so social media platforms. So Facebook, uh, we have a Facebook page. We also have a private Facebook group. If you're a lifetime member, we have a lifetime member group on Facebook as well. Um, we're on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and um, also YouTube. So another organization uh, that you might have heard of is uh, Women Veterans Giving. Um, that is a nonprofit that I started a, um, a few years ago uh, for a couple of different reasons. One, we need to get more women involved and get them on boards and get experience. But also, too, for me as a small business owner and, and speaking with other women um, that have businesses, there's a gap when it comes to funding our small businesses. So how can we as an organization help fill that gap? So I started Women Veterans Giving with uh, as one to have a small business award and the other to look at you know ways we can raise funds for the small business award, but also how we can raise funds for helping women um, in the professional development space, which can encompass a lot of different things. So a couple of ways that we raise money are one, of course, in the middle, you can scan, you can donate. Um, so people, you know, if you're if people ask how can we help, you can donate. You can donate one time. You can set up monthly um, donations. Um, you can also do what's called a roundup where you set a uh, credit card and th that credit card. So every time you use that credit card at a store, so say it's um it's $12 and 75 cents, it'll round it up to 13 and women veterans giving will receive that 25 cents back to us. So it's a great opportunity for those to participate. Um, also, uh, we have our Women Veterans Fun Run, which takes place here in the um, the Sacramento area. Uh, we just had our fun run in June, um, and we usually try to um, schedule that around Women Veterans Day, which is June 12th, if you're not aware. So that's an opportunity. And then we also have our Boots and Ball Gowns Gala, uh, which will take place um, using the fall this year. It's in October. And there's another opportunity for us to raise funds. And yes, women do come in their gowns with their boots there. And at that um, event, we have the Beyond the Call of Duty Award and the Beyond the Call of Duty Award is given to um, one veteran and also to one woman, whether she's active duty guard and reserve, they can self-nominate or someone can nominate them, then they would receive the Beyond the Call of Duty. Uh, last year, we changed that award and that award is now honoring Sergeant Nicole G. Um, she was one of the 13 service members that were killed at the Kabul airport. Um, she lives here, well, she's from here locally, and we have now named that award in her honor. Uh, we did present that award to her family last year, and um, they will continue to participate um, each year as we continue to honor um, the ultimate sacrifice that she made. And also, going back to the Small Business Award, um, to date, we've given over $15,000 to help women veterans start or expand their business. And we do that through the Small Business Award. Um, every year, we have application period where women um, can apply. And we have a committee that reviews those applications, narrows it down to three. And then those are our three finalists who are then um, would come to our our unconference, but this year, now with the unconference, we're going every other year. So since we don't have unconference this year, 
I wanted to make sure that we um, still have the opportunity to present this. So we are partnering um, with Beyond the um, the Battle Beyond, Business Beyond the Battlefields Conference, which is taking place in Texas. So the three finalists will come into Texas. They will be able to par partake and participate in all the activities at this uh, business event. And at lunchtime, uh, one of the the ladies will receive a check um, from us to help her with her business. So we do that every year. Um, this year, we added on uh, partnering our those women that were interested with the score counselor to be able to help them um, with their business. So that's what we have. That is what uh, Women Veterans Giving does. And we have Women Veterans Magazine, which is another um, product of Women Veterans Alliance. Uh, we have launched the Women Veterans California publication in 2022. It's available in print and digital and it can be found at womenveteransmagazine.com. And this is the cover. And these are all women that are either from or stationed in California. And again, you can find that publication there. We are also uh, coming in 2023 is our Oregon and Colorado. The deadline date is February, excuse me, December 2000 um, this year to get in any articles, any advertising. Um, these are mock photos that are on this cover. So with this, the um, if you are from this these states or station here, you can send in, um, you can email in or apply online your photos and those will be featured on the cover. So we are looking again for photos, advertisers, uh, articles, information. Then in 2022, um, which we'll have, uh, we will have Texas, Florida and the DMV area and this, these covers, Texas, Florida, and these covers are, these are the women that submitted for this cover. And this is the, the photos that will be featured on our Women Veterans Magazine. It's a fantastic publication. Um, my goal is, as we continue to grow, to hopefully be in all states um, with that. And then hopefully I'll be able to hire, um, ideally, other women veterans um, for us to continue uh, with this publication. So I know I gave a lot, a lot of information and um, fortunately for those that were to join live can definitely ask questions. And then if you are watching this on um, YouTube, um, definitely feel free to, you know, shoot me an email or, or message me through, you know, one of the social media um, if you do have any questions. So um, what I would like to do is open it up um, to those that are fortunate enough to be on the live uh, member orientation if you had any questions. And you can either chat those or you can um, put that in the, um, or you can unmute yourself. Oh, well, great. It doesn't look like we have any questions. Um, so with that, we will definitely conclude. And again, um, thank you for becoming a, a Women Veterans Alliance member. Uh, we've, we've got a lot happening, but we still have um, a lot more work to do, and I can't do that alone. So again, um, thank you all for your, your membership, and um, please definitely um, enjoy, your, enjoy the rest of your day.